Hundreds of thousands of different species of animals, insects and plants are facing the risk of extinction, many within decades because of human activity, according to a landmark UN assessment of the state of nature. The 1,500-page report compiled by hundreds of international experts and based on thousands of scientific studies is the most exhaustive look yet at the decline in biodiversity across the globe and the dangers that creates for human civilization. A summary of its findings, which was approved by representatives from the United States and 131 other countries, was released on the 6th of May in Paris. But the report also says these trends can be halted and it is not yet too late to fix the problem. Global capitalism is indeed destroying the earth. On land, in the seas, in the sky, the devastating impact of humans on nature is laid bare in a compelling United Nations report. A landmark UN report on global biodiversity details how economic systems are driving one million animal and plant species toward extinction and imperiling the survival of humanity. The crux of the report is that incessant economic growth is fundamentally at odds with the survival of life. In its new report from the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, the UN warned that nature everywhere is declining at a speed never previously seen. The authors said they found overwhelming evidence that human activities are behind nature's decline. From the bees that pollinate our crops to the forests that hold back flood waters, UN's report reveals how humans are ravaging the very ecosystems that support their societies. They ranked the major drivers of species decline as land conversion, including deforestation, overfishing, hunting, poaching, climate change and pollution. We're losing biodiversity. We're losing species at a historical rate. Potentially 500,000 to a million species are threatened with loss. We've lost much of our native forests, much of our native wetlands. And effectively, biodiversity needs to be considered as an equally important issue as climate change. It's not just an environmental issue. It is an economic issue, a development issue, a security issue, uh, a social, moral and ethical issue. The time for action clearly is now. UN's report said while the Earth has always suffered from the actions of humans through history, over the past 50 years, these scratches have become deep scars. However, the report also tells us that it's not too late to fix the problem but it will take transformative change in every aspect of how humans interact with nature. The report said species loss is accelerating to a rate tens or hundreds of times faster than in the past. It said more than half a million species on land have insufficient habitat for long-term survival and are likely to go extinct. The oceans are not any better off. The report said the world's population has doubled since 1970, the global economy has grown fourfold, while international trade has increased ten times over. It said more than a third of the world's land surface and nearly 75% of fresh water resources are now devoted to crop or livestock production. To feed, clothe and give energy to this burgeoning world, forests have been cleared at astonishing rates, especially in tropical areas. Urban areas have more than doubled since 1992. Plastic pollution has increased tenfold since 1980. Every year, we dump 300 to 400 million tons of heavy metals, solvents, toxic sludge and other wastes into the waters of the world. Between 1980 and 2000, 100 million hectares of tropical forests were lost mainly from cattle ranching in South America and palm oil plantations in Southeast Asia. An average of around 25% of animals and plants are now threatened. Global trends in insect populations are not known, but rapid declines in some locations have also been well documented. The assessment also finds that soils are being degraded as never before, reducing the productivity of 23% of the land surface of the earth.
The problem with our economic system today is we have some very, very perverse subsidies in the agricultural sector, in the transportation sector, in the energy sector. And those subsidies normally lead, on average, to destruction or adverse effects on the environment. So the first thing is we need to reform a whole subsidy issue. We need to have incentives in place for clean technologies, clean practices. We need to recognize not just GDP, it, or gross domestic product, is a measure of economic growth. We have to recognize that nature is a major thing of natural capital, along with human capital, built capital, and social capital. The report also presents a wide range of illustrative actions for for sustainability and pathways for achieving them across and between sectors such as agriculture, forestry, marine systems, freshwater systems, urban areas, energy, finance and many others. Based on a review of about 15,000 scientific and government sources and compiled by 145 expert authors from 50 countries, the Global Assessment Report on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services is the first comprehensive look in 15 years at the state of the planet's biodiversity. A 40-page summary for policy makers of the forthcoming full report was released on May 6th in Paris. Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.